Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here to tell you the whisper of the day for July 18th, 2019. Yesterday was a record day for the whispers. We had 30% gains in just one day. We also hit 41 targets and it was awesome. So hope you guys got some of those trades, but if you didn't, I got a lot of new trades for you today. So let's just start with the spy. Um, I've put all the dark pool prints right below my bullish above bearish below. Those are those late prints. But guess what? We had a lot of real time prints. I had traders emailing me going, I don't understand. Why do we move down? There wasn't any big heavy dark pool activity. Well, there was real time. And they were pretty big. I mean, we had a 2 million print at 298.60. 2.9 million, 299.29, a 1 million, 320. Yeah, these are definitely worth watching levels, but we haven't had that massive late dark pool level. So we will watch for that. But in the meantime, let's just trade off the real time because these have been amazing. So today we're going to be bullish above 298.75. And we are going to be bearish below 297. We'll go to the E-minis. The E-minis, and we are below the uh, 4 and the 8 EMA. The 4, in fact, has crossed below. Yeah, so that is bearish momentum. We are going to be bullish only above 29.92 for a retracement trade. Okay, back to the ADMA. So that's the trade to the upside. Obviously, the trade to the downside is a lot clearer. Bearish below 29.80, down to, well, we could go even further. But the first stop is going to be this simple 30 moving average. Yep, there's lots of computers loaded to buy there. So, yep, that would definitely be your first target. Let's go to the Russell. Oops, IWM. So the Russell, yeah, very bearish as well. The four cross below the eight, negative momentum. It's been like that for a while now. Yeah, it's definitely been the weaker um, of these major index ETFs. We're gonna be bullish above 154, um, 63. We're going to be bearish below 153.68. You can see this huge move in the chart here. Yeah, there's nothing but air down to 153. That is a fantastic target. That's why that is my last target. Now, the first time we hit there, buyers are there. We'll bounce the second time. If we do hit there 25 minutes later or more, less buyers would be there. And then there would be another trade down. But let's just take it one trade at a time. QQQs. We're going to be bullish above 192. Yeah, I mean, you could clearly see the moving averages here. We really need to break above that to be bullish. We're going to be bearish below 190.87 for the QQQs. Oil. Oil futures have definitely been the, one of the best trades on these whispers over the past couple weeks. Today, we're going to be bullish above 57.50 and bearish below 57, below this pivot point. Pre-market volume came in at 57.18 and 57.45. So that's why that is my bullish above, bearish below. Gold futures, I'll put them up here. All right, gold futures. You know what we hit yesterday? Here, let me just show you this chart. We hit our upper trend line. Yeah, I've been talking about that and bam, we hit it again. This is so key. We really need to close above this. It's Thursday, so we have two more days on this week. If we can close strong above that level, that's gonna be uber bullish for gold. So continue to watch that. We keep hitting it and selling. You know, there's definitely a computer loaded to sell there, um, as you can see, but Eventually, he's going to run out of shares that he wants to sell or not, right? But he really does need to before we get that next really big move on gold. So we're going to be bullish above 1425, bearish below 1415. Let's go to eBay. 
eBay popped on earnings. We're going to be bullish above 4150 and bearish below 4040 for retracement trade. Watch that 15 exponential moving average. Yeah, if we go below it after the first 15 minutes on a five minute chart, that's usually a pop and drop scenario. If we stay above it, it's usually a gap and go trade. So watch that. Let me just move up these whispers. All right, we have ACB, Aurora. So we had those massive prints, if you recall, at the close at 7.16. Yesterday, we went right up to that simple 20. And of course, computers are programmed to sell there. That's why I have so many moving averages on my chart because they all work. They're all amazing. But if we can go above that today, above 7.40, and especially go above the moving average, right? Then there's room to go to 7.50. There's going to be computers loaded to sell there. So there's your small trade pullback, and then if it breaks above 750, there's a great trade to the 200 simple moving average for Aurora. So G, and we'll be bearish below 711. Yeah, if we go below those prints, we got to be bearish. All right, so watch those levels. Uh, GLD. So I have a couple trades on gold. One of them will be GLD, one is GDX. I'll be talking about that in just a bit. But we're gonna be bullish above 134.50 and bearish below 133.25 for GLD. Let's see, Netflix. Netflix, we're gonna be bullish above 325. That's a key level, yep. You can see these $5 increments are what we need to watch. We're gonna be bullish above 325 for a retracement trade, and we're gonna be bearish below 320, all the way down to 300 for Netflix. AMD, not an easy stock to trade, but always has a lot of pre-market volume, and some people really love this, so it's always on the whisper. Bullish above 33.82, bearish below 32.97. Morgan Stanley out with earnings this morning. It keeps coming up to these two moving averages here on my five minute chart. They're amazing. Put them on your chart, 200 simple, 200 exponential on a five minute chart. Trust me, you're gonna love them. There's two computers that are programmed to sell there. And when they're close like this, it's a double whammy. So we're gonna be bullish above 44.20 and bearish below 43 for Morgan Stanley. Let's go to MU. MU, we are going to be bullish above 44 and bearish below 43.20. We just came up to 44. So watch that level, there's really nothing above that. So that's really key. Let me just look up XLF for a moment. Yeah, so we had tons of prints on XLF. I'm gonna be uber bearish below 2780. And I'm just gonna put that in here. I forgot, we've had tons of prints on this. So let me just do a live whisper. I'll be bullish above 28. I'm just gonna put O. Oh, yeah, 28, that's good. Target's gonna be uh, 28.12, 28.20. And I'm gonna be bearish, because we've had tons of prints in this area, and I know the one day it's not on the whisper is the day it's gonna go, and I just want you to be prepared. 27.80, and target's gonna be, um, hold on just one sec, just wanna look at some pivots before I, all right, we do have some support at 27.75 and 27.65. So 27.75, 27.65. But yeah, if they're selling, it should go down a lot more than that. But there is some short-term support. So just wanna let you know that. All right, a little addition to the whisper. Uh, let's go to the next one, Microsoft. Bullish above 137, bearish below 135.50 for 
Mr. Softy. Apple has volume this morning as well. So we are going to be bullish above 204.60. And you can see on the daily chart, there is room to go up. And bearish below 203.50, there is room to go down if we do start to break down below that. So we'll watch that. USO has really good pre-market volume as well. Oil's been getting clobbered. We will be bullish above 1207 if it can break above the eight, but if not, we are going to be bearish below 1175. You can see we've come down there uh, yesterday and this morning. Buyers have been there, but if they disappear, look out below for USO. And Genie, nice call on the GDX. Whisper this morning. We're gonna be bullish above 2720 and bearish below 2670 for a retracement trade. So there you have it. Those are your whispers. If I see anything great today, I will definitely call it out. But guess what? Today, we are launching our new training pit. Yes, it's for uh, new traders or traders that really have not been able to get their chart set up. They need really help with that. Learning the basics of stocks, options, ETFs. Uh, I'll be teaching about the dark pool in there. If you did not get an email out, uh, you can go to thedarkpools.com and you'll see the training pit. You can register. Registration opens right now. Classes start August 5th. All right, so the first 30 people to register will get a free 20 minute coaching session with myself. So definitely register as soon as possible. We're really, really excited. Uh, I've handpicked three traders uh, that I've trained in my Java pit uh, to help run this room with me. And we are so excited. Uh, there's just been such a great demand for a beginner training room. And so this is it. So definitely sign up. It's only $99.97 a month. I think you're going to love it. So until next time, happy trading. My secret